Just wanted to let you know what this upcoming video is. It's uh, basically just interviewing a good friend of mine who works for a vitamin supplement, supplement company. And uh, I thought it'd be really useful for everybody out there. Just um, a lot of you guys who watch this channel, similar kind of age group as I am. And um, as I say in this video coming up, I'm not making a dime off of this. This is nothing I'm like getting paid to promote. Um, but I thought it is, um, it'd be really helpful for some of you guys out there. Um, so, uh, my friend, uh, Mike, his email address will be in the description of this video. Reach out to him if you're interested in finding more about these vitamin supplements. And, um, I think that's it. And then we do get into talking about, um, so after that initial, like, I think 15 minutes, then we'll get into talking about some of his uh, redemption issues with Tops and a little bit of his PC. I do apologize that uh, one of our internets kept cutting out. So there are there is like one 20 second gap where he freezes and then also kind of uh, his audio cuts out. So I apologize for that. But the main gist is um, it, it was just something fun that him and I had been talking we wanted to do. Um, for a while now, and so we got this knocked out, and uh, I hope it's helpful to some of you guys out there, okay? It's thinking. There we go. All right, we're recording now. So uh, this is Phil, of course, from I Love Baseball Cards. I'm here with one of my best friends, Mike, straight from Texas, and we, I titled this thing, I don't know if it shows up anywhere except just for him, but I uh, titled it Supplements and Sports Cards, because we're going <laughs> to talk about I like it here what's that i said i like it yeah yeah so uh um the uh the supplements i'm gonna say right off is this is not anything that i'm getting paid for it's not a you know nobody's funding this promotion i just uh it's how mike and i met so i thought that was a good intro and also to promote something that i believe in very strongly because it works so um, I'll kick it over to Mike first, and then we'll talk about, then I'll jump into kind of how I found these supplements and then heard from Mike. So uh, um, Mike from Texas, and it's a lot later there. It's almost 10 o'clock, almost bedtime there. I hope your kid's in bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's knocked out. I, I checked on her before I came back here. So luckily okay. she's passed out for now. Okay. Uh, but yes, I'm from New Braunfels, Texas, right in between Austin, San Antonio area. But um, yeah, um, the supplements, Phil, we met through that. Um, this is what I do for a living. I sell supplements. And no, I'm not trying to promote. I'm not making any money off of this. We're just telling a story. Pretty simple. Um, so I work for a very large uh, supplement company, All Natural. And um, what I do is I reach out to people. They place orders, they come up, and I reach out from the nutrition department as a health specialist. And my job and goal is to get maximum results, um, answer any questions, work with my clients one on one, but also ensure that you know we have them on the right supplementation for them and their goals, whether it be uh, fitness, um, anti aging, general health, the bedroom, or all of the above. Why not? Um, but yeah, and one day I saw uh, a guy uh, named Phil Provisil from Nevada. I reached out, I called him, and we had a great conversation. He became a client of mine, and um, things kind of took off from there. Yeah, here I'll bring uh, I'll bring me back in here to yeah say how I found this stuff. And um, so I would always. Uh, sports talk radio shows i'd always hear the uh frank thomas promoting the andro 4000 and uh you know my workouts had kind of plateaued i you know i was taking the i was taking walmart proteins which then i found out look you could do a lot better than walmart protein so then i started getting protein from gnc saw some better results but then i'm like you know what i'm gonna try this frank thomas stuff you know he's you know and a couple other pro athletes were talking about uh, supplements for workouts and reduce aging and, and muscle soreness and all these things. And so I looked up online, but then all of a sudden there was like this review that said, well, if you want something that like has, so it said Andro 4000 is pretty one dimensional. Mm -hmm. If you want something better 
and completely 100% all natural. And I have a friend who's like a, into all natural everything. And she looked at the ingredients and everything about this product. And she's like, oh, yeah, shoot, that's that's pretty rare that it's not like all synthetic and everything. It's all natural uh, supplement. And so the, the article said, try this stuff. And it said, you know, basically, you know, give it 60 days, you know, two months supply to see any results. And I'm like, well, you know, sometimes that's a scam. They just want you to buy a couple of months. I started seeing results in about six weeks. So the stuff I started with is called uh, Provacil. So the, this is the first stuff I bought, only this, for like about a year and a half, two years. And on the box, it says back to your best. And it did that in every way. One of the hugest things I noticed. So definitely helped my workouts. Um, I was, you know, noticing better results from workouts. But then there was a, a day I was cleaning the yard and I tore my shoulder like 15 years ago. And this was about, it was before COVID that I met Mike. So we're talking, this might be about six or seven um, years ago. I was cleaning out the yard and there was some rocks. And I was trying to sling them out over our fence into the wilderness. And all of a sudden I'm slinging rocks and I'm not feeling any like sharp pain that like, you know, ran up behind my ear like it used to. And then I stood up and I started, I was, I was humming rocks like I hadn't done since I was 20. And I'm like, holy crap. So it not only did the stuff I wanted to, but some of the, the aches, the pains and the lean muscle tears and different things I had in my shoulders and my elbows and everything else had started to heal. So I was like, damn. Uh, and, and, and then, and then after a couple of years, then I get a call from Mike and then he recommended a whole other set of other supplements to go along with the Provacil. And that's where he, he came in and I'll let him kind of step in there and kind of what he, you know, he kind of evaluated and, and asked, what my, you know, workout routine was and everything. And, and also the reason why I'm doing this with sports cards on my channel is because a lot of people who are into the videos that I do and every, you're pretty much similar age group to not to me. I'm 51. Most of the people are mid thirties to mid sixties. So I think this would benefit everybody. And that's why I wanted to throw this out there. And we will talk about Mike's sports cards and his yes, adventures with top yeah. redemptions, but I'm Mike, very, I'm going to shoot it back I over to you. And then you kind of take it from there. And then like, then when you recommended uh, some of the other supplements to go along with the Provacil. Yeah, definitely. So the Provacil alone, it, it's very unique. I mean, it's not only a, it's not only a testosterone booster, but it's also a, a human growth hormone release. Well, so it's, it's producing, um, it's having the testes produce testosterone naturally. And as men, yes, all of us need that. We always need to focus on testosterone. Most importantly, the male sex hormone. It's what makes us men, men, right? But also the, the human growth hormone being the master hormone, that's where Phil was getting those recoveries and noticing that the shoulder was getting better because it's regenerating cells. So anytime that any of my clients, um, uh, have an injury or say um, chronic pain, they're about to go under the knife or they just went under the knife recovering. Um, you want to be producing HGH because it's regenerating those cells. So it's just expediting the healing process. Um, is, is it going to happen overnight? No. Like Phil said, um, supplements take about two to four up to six weeks to really break down and concentrate. And this is where a lot of men go wrong. I know we want results overnight. We all do. But the only way to get results overnight is to hop on a synthetic. Um, with supplements, it's all about consistency and, you know, um, staying consistent. And then as you continue to supplement, results continue to maximize, especially when we're addressing the hormones. That's our long-term solution. Um, but yeah, so I reached out to Phil. We did the health assessment. Um, and then I sold him on, you know, a few other supplements, um, a test RX to go along with it, um, which is an all natural testosterone booster. And that's just going to amplify the results just to get his test level up at a much more rapid rate. Um, most of us know with natural test boosters, it, it's, it's long term and it takes some time. Um, and that's why I threw in the test RX on top of that. Um, as far as other supplements, there's the Tong Cat Ali, which is helping to free up our testosterone. And not only that, um, it's helping boost our test as well. And 
does have, you know, the energy, the workout, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so I got him on the stack with him, and he's been on the stack for and, uh, for quite some time now. Um, what would you say, about four years? No, I'd say closer to five, maybe five, five and a half. Yeah, I think, yeah, I've been with the company for all, about five years. So, yeah, and you were, we met when I first started, pretty new into it. So, yeah, oh, we've, okay. been, we've been working <laughs> well, together. Good, taking on yeah. an early client. And then the Gen F, what is uh, the Gen F kind of just supplements all of those too, right? It kind of ties exactly. everything together. Right. Yeah. So that's like your BCAAs um, and so much more. A lot of other amino acids. It's the number one rated HGH releaser out there. So it's just having us producing, secreting as much human growth hormone all naturally as possible. So when you, when you put that stack together, it's, you know, we want to get our testosterone levels up at a more rapid rate. And that's what we're doing. And we want to free up our testosterone as well. But not only that, we want to be producing as much of that HGH because when it comes to HGH, it's it's hitting general health, mental health, physical, sexual health and performance, anti-aging. I mean, it's doing a little bit of everything. And that's what I love about it. Um, well, I, the Provacil, that's the main ingredient that I was after was I was trying to find something that mm -hmm. was HGH because right. I mean, what percentage doesn't your HGH like from like age, like 35 to 45, doesn't it crash to like, would you tell me the figure to like 15% of what your levels were in your twenties? Yeah, it drops significantly. Yeah. Close to that because what happens, like we're producing the most, you know, when we're born, when we're growing, going through puberty because we need it to grow. <laughs> right. So it's, it's known, it's also known as a youth hormone, but when we hit about age, you know, 23, women at about 25, everyone's different. It could be a little bit later in life, just like testosterone as well. It could be a little bit later. Um, but what happens is the pituitary gland at the base of the brain, it starts to shrivel up and our HGH production it drops significantly. And this is when the aging process, you know, truly begins. So the whole goal is, hit the hormones, hit them hard, hit them naturally. And yeah. that's what we've been doing. But uh, I almost forgot the one thing. Did you want to give out either an email, a website, or your uh, work number there where people can uh, get yeah. a hold of you and talk to you further and, and start start this process of uh, checking into these supplements? Of course. Yeah, I'd love to. Anybody who wants to reach out, um, what we'll do is a health assessment. Build, we'll build a baseline and then we'll find the right all natural supplementation for you and your goals and on top of that um i am able to give out really great promotions as well but like i said this isn't about i'm not trying to make money off of this but this is how we met so we're just this was important to lay it out there um yeah, yeah my work email is mike dot f or mike i mean i was thinking about my personal email my work email is mike <laughs> F at leading edge health dot com. Okay, do so, it one more time and then I'm also going to put it in the yep. uh, description below this video. Perfect. It's Mike F as in Frank at leading edge health dot com. Okay, so just Mike F with no uh, M I K E and then F as in Frank at leading L E A D I N G health H E A L T H leadinghealth.com Lead, uh leading edge so e echo e -E -E. okay leading edge health yeah leading yes. edge health all one word dot com okay yeah, yeah i'll put that in the description Perfect. too and um yeah. i'm gonna tell one just i mean because everything has i mean this isn't really a, a a minus but if you have had like especially hgh and and stuff going downhill so i started this what in my early to mid 40s Mm -hmm. Um, one thing I noticed and I had to kind of like, whoa, be a little, uh, uh, leery of all of a sudden I got, I started getting very aggressive. Like <laughs> I, I wanted to fight everybody. I'm like, whoa, Nelly. I mean, like it, it, it is that effective where you're like, you, you feel like you're like 19 again and you want to bar brawl everybody. So well, I the, mean, you want to find, you want to find a fine line. So the yeah. goal is. <laughs> I just we want to throw that out there. It, it yeah. works. So just be leery that you might get a little like boost in like energy of like, man, I feel like I can like do a lot the more. Big, here. 
you're gonna you're gonna get a you're gonna notice the you know the vigor and um yes i mean you'll notice a boost in energy but i mean it's more so synthetic testosterone that's gonna make you the give you the aggressive tendencies and the side effects and stuff but yeah i mean um everybody's different and some people if you get your test levels say to 1500 or 1700 then they're getting a little bit too high um (laughs) so yeah we don't want that yeah i mean it's probably not i mean because i was kind of you know and i had not taken anything before so it might somebody else might not feel that but all of a sudden i felt like a, a, a boost of just like like just you know not backing down or you know or, or just i was just like wow but i mean that was short term until kind of things you know yeah evened yeah. up a little bit here but <laughs> plateau and you level out and then we just continually boost but it's not something you're committed to for life you know like it's something that you know you could get a blood test um, a blood panel and get your, your testosterone levels checked. And Hey, if you're sitting at 700 or 900, then it's something you could take a break from, you know, for a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's not something that you're married to for life, which is great. If you go on TRT, which don't get me wrong. And I'm sure some of you men that are going to see this are on TRT, uh, testosterone replacement therapy, uh, injections or an andro gel, uh, whatever it may be, but, um, it's normal, but you don't want to be on that long term. The goal is throw in a natural test booster while you're doing the synthetic. Yeah. So here's the, uh, this is the, the test RX that, yeah. then yeah. I started with the, uh, with the Provacil and then, and then the, uh, the Gen F and the, uh, Toncat. So yeah, I wish I had, I mean, I have a few things I can grab as well, but let's see. Uh, not a whole lot. Um, I'm pretty close to out here, but I do have a extra pack for our men's daily pack, which is really great. I mean, I've yet to see come across a daily vitamin mineral complex that's even comparable. It's a blend of 100 ingredients. Oh, wow. Uh, it's got a lot going on in it. Um, just a little bit of everything. Vitamins, uh, your mineral nutrients, your herbs, your antioxidants, um, omega the nine um a blend of 42 fruits and veggies so i mean just our daily uh vitamin is top tier um including our others as well but yeah um that's how we met and anyone yeah. who wants to reach out please reach out i would be happy to help yeah definitely and then um again i'll put that in the uh that uh, email in the description uh and then after covid we were just chit-chatting and he mentioned like going through his cards during COVID, yep. like what, like business cards or what? Sports cards. Oh my God. That's my, like, addiction. I heard this guy light up. I could, I could hear it in his voice. <laughs> and then, and then the friendship even took higher levels from there. And uh, <laughs> so then now that's what we're going to talk about next. So he's got an amazing PC of a couple of different areas of his PC that we're going to hit. But um, he has had some uh, adventures with Tops Redemptions here, and I'm going to we're going to jump into that right now and and talk about his nightmare of <laughs> like where what the heck did they send you like you know as a oh we're sorry it's taken you know nine years to get you your autograph yeah. here's um um dollar sixty three in packs pretty much <laughs> yeah they, that's their that's their standard um package for whenever something's wrong or if something's late and i mean to be honest i mean tops is tops i mean they're they've always been great i'm not trying to dog on them but in in this circumstance so what happened was in the 2022 obviously you can see my hat i hard ass but in 2022 when we took the world series um i bought a few cards and the one I was most excited about, of course, was Game 5, um, Jeremy Pena. I got the Relic. I got the Auto. Um, number 125. So stoked. Super excited. Um, so I got my other three cards, and I, I figured that one, you know, should be coming in uh, pretty soon, shortly after. Um, I'm waiting waiting and it doesn't show up so eventually i reached out to tops probably back i would and say i would say about april or may of 2023 and i asked them what's going on 
they pretty much gave me a generated um, uh, email back saying, I'm sorry, it's taking a bit longer. We'll get it to you when we get it to you. Um, I kept inquiring. Somebody finally reached out and they were hurt and rude, um, which I was kind of shocked. And they asked me if you want to get a refund or we can send the card unsigned, which defeats the whole purpose. I don't want the card not autographed. Um, so I told her, no, I'll wait. Um, I want the card. I don't want a refund. I made it crystal clear. Um, and then more months went we went back and forth. I went back and forth with tops multiple times. And then I finally told them, Hey, you know, I know I'm not the only one. Everybody else, one to 25, one to 10, uh, one to 100, whatever it may be, they're all waiting as well. What's going on? So they tell me that they're waiting on him to, to send the car back to tops. But this is what got my mind kind of going is on the back of the tops cards. Let me grab one that's signed. So on the back of every tops card, you know, it says, let's see. Yeah. Um, the signing of all tops autograph cards is witnessed by tops representatives to guarantee authenticity. <laughs> So <laughs> it kind of just threw me for a loop because if he tells me, you know, a guy who works for Tops that he's waiting to get the cards back from this athlete, then that tells me that is there actual proof somebody standing over him to making sure that he signs it. So that was just kind of bugged me that much more. But anyways, more time went on. And then I finally reached out to them again this year. Um, it was like uh, early January. It was like the second. Um, and I asked, where's this card at? It's been 14 months. You know, I've been patient. I've about had it. Um, and he said, we'll get it out as soon as possible. And that night, that same night that I reached out to him and he emailed me back, a representative from Tops, um, the card shipped that night. So I did receive it uh, a couple of days ago, been hanging on to it, and um, 429 days later, a little bit over 14 months. Wow. Um, so yeah, a lot to go through um, and a long, long, long wait, but I'm very excited to open it. And especially this is my first time to open a card or post any video, so I'm really excited to do this. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was that was the the story, and um, it was a uh, very excessive. Not too thrilled about it. Like I said, tops is they're usually on top of it. No pun intended, but um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. They dropped the ball. Uh, pun intended. So with <laughs> that being said, I'm gonna show before we open that. I'm gonna show a couple other cards first. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap my uh, swap my camera around real quick. Okay. Yeah. All right. There we go. All right. Let's see. So your PC is Astros, and yeah. uh, you have some other unique World Series items too, right? I do. Um, it's it's mainly Astros. Um, yes, um, but I do have some other. I I'm, I've always I've been collecting for about thirty years now. But um, you know, I really I, I turn I got turned on to you know the rarity of and the relics are just I, I love them. You know, a relic autograph that's you know limited numbered. I just I have to have them. You know, yeah. I like I love the rarity of it. Um, let's see. Here. So, well, first off here, let's just open this guy up. I was looking through um, some, I was looking for some cards earlier and I came across this, which I totally forgot I bought. So it's silver plated coin for the 2022 World Series pennant. Yeah, and I think it was numbered um, one to, I think it was, let's see. Um, uh, five thousand. So five thousand. Cool. Yeah. So it's silver plated, but still a pretty cool little piece. But not cool enough to where I left it out. Obviously, I haven't seen it in months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So there's cool. that. And let's get to a card. Um, first, 
I went ahead. I didn't buy this through Tops directly. I bought this off of eBay. I like that it was already graded at a 10. So, you know, I went ahead and picked it up. That no hitter was phenomenal. Uh, you know, Christian Javier took the uh, first six innings and uh, Abreu, Presley, and then um, what's his name? I can't remember. Um, starts with an M. Uh, Montero, that's right. Montero hopped in and they finished it off. So, no, that was a really great game, really great pitching. Awesome. So, had to pick that up. Um, and then also, since it was already graded, I went ahead and picked up, you know, the rookie World Series, uh, Willie Mays MVP, Mr. Pena. So, yeah. I figured awesome. since I already, you know, someone did the did it for me, I would just buy it, and they were relatively cheap. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah, but now let's get to the good stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say right. you showed me, you sent me hordes of pictures <laughs> of like. Um, I know you have. I don't know if you have it handy there. The uh, even though I can't stand the guy, the uh, Altuve record breaking relic that you have and things. Boom! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, Phil is not an Astros fan, for those of you who don't know. But, yeah, we don't see eye to eye uh, there, but that's okay. Um, I got 7 of 25. Very cool number. I like number 7. Um, but, um, yeah, signed card. Got the piece of the base. Nice and dirty. But, yeah, he tied a... Uh, Bernie Williams, second for most all time with 22 uh, career postseason home runs. And that's one of the really awesome, rare tops items where they have that little, like, back onto the base where they have the little insignia, like, indicating the exact game something came from. Exactly, yes. So, yeah, then they put that on every single relic, which is very neat. Um, but, yeah, the card is a beautiful card. <clears throat> Great player. Legend. Um, let's see. What do we have next? All right. Um, this was from the 2022 World Series. This was from game two. Another base. This is Mr. Breggers, Alex, Alex Bregman. Yeah. And actually, the you see the actual, how you can see, like, the the batter, the, the athlete, or the imprint. I've never seen that before. That's the first for me. That's so awesome. That, that was really, really cool to get. I was, and I got four of 25, which is a, a great number. But I'll that, take yeah, whatever. That is so cool that you have the, yeah, part of the MLB logo on yeah. there. So, yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, I've never gotten that in any of my relics. So, and I, I love Alex Bregman. I mean, he's just a, he's a heck of a, a third baseman. He's just a stand up guy and he's just, He's very dialed in, very good batter, great batter. See, with Astros players that I used to like, I used to like the Killer Bees. Bagwell, Biggio. Berkman. Berkman. He went yeah. to my high school, graduated from Canyon. No way. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sure did. So this was interesting. It was a rat race. I mean, when you buy these cards, obviously, I mean, the, the site is about to crash and you have to buy them so fast or they sell out. So um, it's, the cool thing about this one, my, my sister and I both got one of these. So, oh. yeah, my sister, uh, Dana, she lives in Houston. Uh, her and her husband, Clay, and they're diehard Astros fans like myself. So she um, she got one and I got one. So we have two of the 25. And that I thought it was really cool. Awesome. Um, I didn't realize it, but, you know, being number 22, and they won in 2022. So Ooh, that's, that's cool. So that's a, actually a piece of the confetti um, that they dropped. I know it's kind of silly, but I thought it no. was pretty. And, no, yeah. that's, I mean, that's totally neat to have, like, it's something I, different. Unique items, yeah. Yeah, very different. So, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm the fact that me and my sister both have one, I think that's pretty cool too. Yeah. Um, and then my man Alvarez. <laughs> when, he, when he finally connected. He came through. I got forty one and forty nine. Is that another base? Is it? I know it's not, no. Oh, it's, it's Jersey. Is that that's I Jersey? Thought, 
I thought I saw something that, that you didn't see. No, that's a piece of the base. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's another base. It's hard to tell if it's like, you know, uh, dirty fabric. Or... <laughs> right, right. No, I can see that. I get you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. We have another base right there. Which one? I don't know, but. That's it is cool, though. But there's the still that has the uh, the sticker on it, so it can be yeah linked to a specific that specific game and exactly that's awesome. Yeah, I have a lot a lot of these cards. I need to you know send off to PSA and get graded and all that good stuff. But I I don't open them. I don't as you can tell you know I don't break the sticker. I don't. No, open them. I with stuff like that you really don't need to get them graded. It it I don't yep. think it adds. Uh, any value to some of these unique items okay well, yeah hey, it's I'll... probably better off leaving it in that you know factory sealed tops uh sticker case yeah and i've even kept like the receipts that they come with you know so oh, that's I, awesome yeah i have those as well so <laughs> that way we know 100 percent, you know legitimate the real deal um but yeah let me let's see i'm gonna put this guy you want to you want to open your prize? Yeah, I'm about okay. to open the prize. All right. So, and you're getting a glimpse of his other PC right there, Peyton Manning. <laughs> yes, diehard Peyton Manning. I didn't want you to see that yet. So, okay. let's take, we're going <laughs> to <laughs> Do not look at the man behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Let's see. All if right. we got. I, I hope it's uh, I hope it's what it's supposed to be. Man, there better be an autograph on here, Phil, or I'm gonna lose my mind. That's all I have. To all right, say. let's see. You guys see nice and well. I'm using the men's daily pack to kind of hold it up. Let's see. All right, yeah, there we go. <laughs> all right. Hey, it's Boom. signed. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Boom. Buddy. 14 uh, month saga is over. It is over. Number 21 out of 25. Nice. First and rookie. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, look like his wife or his uh, daughter signed it. So that's You know, I, I checked his signature <laughs> several times. It, it looks spot on. It does look spot on. <laughs> This might be one that I get shipped off to get checked. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm kidding in all reality. But no, I mean, first rookie shortstop to hit a World Series homer. Not to mention, I mean, he was just, he held himself just, he was so calm and just, I mean, he, it was, it was amazing what he did as a rookie, um, his rookie year and in the World Series alone. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, it's about damn time. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Yeah, thank. Oh. Very cool. Cool. Nice. Thanks. Yeah. Right. So we have the Pena, number twenty-one of twenty-five, and then where the other ones go? We have the. That's an old one. There's the Alvarez once again, forty-one of forty-nine. Here's the confetti. Yeah. After the one. Very cool. 22, 2022. And that was from a different year. So this would actually be, this would be last one for 2022. Nice. And then also my, uh, my sister, shout out to Clay and Dana Matheny, my sister and brother-in-law over in Houston. They got me this really cool limited edition bottle of wine that I haven't opened up yet. Nice. Which is pretty neat. I thought it was pretty cool looking. Yeah. But pretty much just goes over a little bit, thanking this the city, blah, 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 blah. Um, but yeah, it's it, I leave it sitting on my work desk, and there's been days where I've struggled to not crack this thing <laughs> up. No, Let you me leave stuff you. like that sealed. I have like a... Uh... Oh, I know. I have like a Wheaties cereal box from like the 49ers third Super Bowl, and it is really? still completely sealed. Jeez, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, I, no, I definitely wouldn't open it. My buddy, <laughs> my, a buddy of mine, he was like, well, it's going to go bad. Well, and let's. I told him, I said, 
I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I can buy a bottle of wine anywhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> something that you leave. Like I have, I actually have a, uh, also from like 2000, man, when would it be from like 2002 or 2003, I have like a seven up can with uh, the mm. Mr. Tim Hudson on it. And it's yeah. completely, but well, I have it like wrapped in a Ziploc just in case mm -hmm. it like, ever exploded. I didn't want it to get over <laughs> my other collectibles. So. Hey, you have a backup plan though. That's smart. Hey, yeah. You got the plan. Yeah. Yeah, I used to um, collect like uh, like the Halo edition, like back in the day when Halo first came out. Um, you know, like the Doritos or the Mountain Dews. But I was also yep. a teenager, so I would collect them for about two days, and then they were gone. Um, <laughs> <but> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I was more focused on the cards, and yeah, um, I, I'm really excited to show and share some of my cards and. Continue right, to do Peyton it. Manning. How'd you get into Peyton Manning? Because um, yeah. my buddies at the channel COG Sports Cards are uh, huge Peyton Manning fans. Because oh, are they? Snake uh, went to, I believe, the same. He went to college. Uh, Tennessee. Years, uh, behind Peyton Manning. Did he? Really? Yeah. yeah. At, uh, at the uh, Tennessee. So. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so they're huge, like huge, yeah. huge Peyton Manning fans. So how did you get into Peyton Manning and your PC there? So yeah, it's really weird because, you know, everyone being a Texan and being a diehard Astros fan, you know, everyone is like, why are you a Colts fan? I don't get it. Um, but no, I grew up watching the Colts with my dad. Um, he was He's always been a diehard Colts fan. Um, and it's just really great memories of my own, you know, watching football with him and um you know and then as i got older you know and started to learn the players and um you know edgar and james people like that back in the day marvin harrison yep. um, the oldies but yeah and then peyton came along and you know i just just an unbelievable quarterback i mean nobody can throw off a defense like him he was just incredible and his work ethic just it never it never stopped yeah. um and he's so humble and down to earth, you know, very just genuine stand up guy. Well, yeah, the more I find out about him, like as a as a person, the more I've liked him. And yeah. that was like after his career, too. So. It says a lot, I mean, to be one of the one of the greats and, to you know, hold yourself, uh, you know, to be very humble. Yeah, uh, that's a lot. But yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, we can show a few cards. Um, so I was telling Phil earlier, I did. Um, I, I had a, I have a whole collection of Peyton Manning cards, and I went through tons of my cards. I couldn't find them all, but I found some I'm going to share. And then um, one other thing. Yeah, I know where one of those helmets came from. Oh, yeah, I'm going to explain that. <laughs> Let's see here. Let me... This one up. Your reception just went haywire. Are you doing a... <laughs> you got a thunderstorm in Texas? Huh? I said, you got a thunderstorm in Texas? You just went like it completely froze and I lost audio on you for like 30 seconds. Oh, did you? Yeah. It's better yeah. now. Um, we are supposed to be getting rain. Yeah, but not right now. Okay. All hmm. right. I don't know. Um, But yeah, <laughs> anyways, I don't know. We can edit that, but yeah, this is um, a Peyton Manning rookie. This is one I picked up. It's a nine, pretty cool looking. I like it. Yeah. Um, look how young he is. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> There's his stats from Tennessee. Yeah. There it is. Eleven thousand two hundred yards. Not bad. No, that's that's pretty good. That's that's more than I ever had, so it's pretty good. <laughs> you and me combined. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then this one. I used to have that card. Did you? Yeah. I gave it when I went and visited COG when we went to the Nashville card show. I brought that. I had it really uh, graded, and I gave it to them. I'm surprised because I thought you gave me all of your Peyton Manning cards. I Did have you? found that one there and and still had it, but brought that there. But yeah, what are the, what are the odds? Huh? I'm glad yeah. you didn't give me one. I didn't give you the one <laughs> that you already had, so that worked. <laughs> yeah, nice, <laughs> good deal. Um, but yeah, 
Um, I, I I've been holding on to this for a while. I've never I, I bought it off of some guy off offer up or something. This and a it was a Brett Favre uh, rookie when he was on the Falcons, I believe. Um, I picked both of them up for like forty bucks and nice. I mean, yeah. So, um, the card looks. I don't know. It's hard to tell with the corners. Uh, definitely not a ten, but I don't know. This would be worth sending in. I think. Yeah, the one I had, I think, was like a six or something. Yeah. So decent, but still, is it's kind of cool because he is in his Tennessee uniform. Yeah, exactly. I like that. Yeah, that's what really when I saw it, I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, I want that definitely. Um, and then this is the last Peyton card I'll show tonight until I find my others, and this is probably my favorite. So. This is, oh, that's uh, cool looking upper deck MVP. I liked those cards. Those were mm -hmm. with his auto. So, yeah. mm -hmm. and then this was a uh, a rookie auto. That's awesome. Yeah, I really that's like it. Cool. Yeah, but I wish I could have found the other ones. But they'll come in due time. I know they're here somewhere. They've got to be. If I mean, I. I you know what it is, though? It's an excuse to look through all your cards, which that's never it, a bad day. Hey, touche. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't argue with that. Yeah. Uh, and I did come across some cool ones. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show this random card, this Andre Johnson card. That's so, cool. So Andre Johnson was really good. You know, he was a he was a really great athlete, great wide receiver. He played for the Texans, um, had a killer career with them, and then he actually came over to the Colts for a little bit. Oh, wow. um, and then after the Colts, um, I think he either retired or he I, he might have gone to Tennessee uh, for one more year. I don't I can't remember if Tennessee was before or after, but I believe he played um, with the Titans. But the reason I wanted to <laughs> And bring up the Colts. Unfortunately, for all of us Colts fans, we did lose yesterday to the Texans. <laughs> um, and that was a win, win and in. So, yeah, we're done for the year, unfortunately. But, um, no, I thought it was just kind of ironic that I came across his rookie card. And he played for us and Texans uh, and Houston. Houston, excuse me. Um, but, yeah, I wanted to show that just because I watched the game last night. And, yeah, but this piece, this is my Peyton Manning helmet. It's my mini helmet, and yep. it's in incredible condition. So, do you want to tell the story, Phil? Oh, I just I had a friend who was uh, her dad passed away, and she was going through his stuff and asked me if I knew of anybody who wanted some of the things, and she sent me a pic of that, and I'm like, uh, yes. Uh, Here's my buddy Mike's phone number. Can you text him? He will buy it from you. So he did. I sure did. And it, and I got it, and it was still in the original box, which was actually yellowed. And I was trying to find a year on there. Um, I, I'm still not sure what year this helmet is from. but And I, th I thought it looked like it was in rough condition. And when I took the helmet out of that box, I mean – my mind was blown at just the shape that this helmet is in. I mean, yeah, it, it's perfect. I mean, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with it. To be honest, like I've done, I've looked at it up close. Like oh. it's in incredible condition. So I got to really, I really appreciate that. And yeah, you knew who to call immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So thank you for that, Phil, and also to. What was her name? Well, huh? Her name was Carrie. Carrie, that's right, Carrie. I wanted to call her Karen, but I knew it was wrong. I knew I was close. Yeah, and then, close enough. Right. <laughs> and then before, yeah, I bought this Andrew Luck um, beforehand. This was, I bought this years ago when he, before he decided to retire, um, <laughs> right, um, right before we started the new year. Uh, new year but um, yeah. Still love the guy. Incredible athlete. Amazing. I respect what he did. I mean, it was all due to family, and he wasn't enjoying the game anymore. And, yeah. you know, if he got to a point where he was just getting injured all the time, he wasn't enjoying it, and he wanted to spend time with his family, and 
I I can't say I you can't beat up on the guy. He made a, a lot of money. He made a lot of um, incredible plays. He had a, a really great career um, as a Colt. Um, it was yeah. sad to see him go. Yeah, that was a that one hurt. That stung real <laughs> bad the day he left. Um, yeah. not as bad as Peyton, but don't get me wrong. But yeah. So other than that, cool. Yeah. I do have other cards. I mean, I do have other Astros, Relics, Autos, but I think I'm going to save those for another video. Yeah, no, we'll do we'll do another one where uh um we'll uh, you know, I'll dig out some of my I mean, I'm not as intense of like a, a PC collector. I just kind of collect anything that's old and and old right. and things, but um I mean, I do have my favorite, you know, my top 4 all-time favorite players are pretty much the same as when I was about 11. It's, you know, it's Steve Garvey, Mike Schmidt, George Brett, Ricky Henderson. Those have, those, those, those have always been my favorites. So, um, yeah, those I'll have to, I'll have to dig out some stuff. And then when you go yeah, to support your Astros PC, if we do another one of these and then, uh, which we will, and then uh, I'll dig out some of my stuff. So yeah, that yeah. sounds like a plan. Yeah. Good. Oh, it was fun. I, I'm excited. I'm glad I finally got my card, but I'm glad we got to do this, Phil. Um, no, I look forward to doing it again. Yeah, me too. I mean, that's that is cool that that envelope didn't have like you know more confetti in it or something. You know, <laughs> so. you know, I, I was kind of expecting like another card or like some kind of bonus or something. Yeah, and you slow rolled it perfect too. You did I? There was the base, and then there's like, okay, oh, is it autographed? Come on. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I'm. I'm glad I hit it spot on. Good. <laughs> well, I'm. I'm glad the autograph was on there because if it if it wasn't, I I would have already been on the phone with tops or dry. Yeah, a little smiley face or something on there. And oh my god. <laughs> the tops rep just had. Okay, we got to write something on here. Just put you know. <laughs> yeah, that would have been pretty bad. That would have sent me off the deep end. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. I'm. I'm glad to finally get that card. I mean, 14 months is a long, long. Yeah. It's a long time to wait. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, a great additive to my collection. So very excited about that one. Good. All right. I'm going to let you get to sleep. It's almost 11 there. I got to get up. Uh, gee, I got to get up in like five and a half hours too myself. So yeah, I'm exhausted, um, but no, it was fun. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you. And then again, I'm going to put the uh, link to uh, Mike's email. Definitely, you know, get in touch with him. You will be glad you did because especially, both, even if you're not working out, if you're, you know, just feeling like, holy crud, I can't even straighten my back if I, you know, put firewood in the in the fireplace or something. It's that, you know, all this, there's something for you to help start, you know, getting the stuff good. working again. So. We, we have a little bit of everything and we're still launching, you know, more and more supplements. And we've really geared our company more towards, you know, general health, anti-aging, but we have um, supplements for bit of everything and everything called now great thing um yeah. so no please reach out mike f at leading health.com and i'll be happy to help but other Good. than that it was a pleasure phil um i really enjoyed this my friend you have a great night and we'll chat soon yeah thank you me too all right take care you too